Hey everyone, this is Celine from All Technical. I welcome you to this session. Today we will be talking about the Apple webcam hack, free shot and alternative, and we will also be talking about when we do directly brute forcing attacks, there are different kinds of patch.json files, what is the meaning of that kind of files? We will be also talking about Google Chrome, saved passwords, get easily be extracted by any malicious app on macOS. Keep watching our video if you are interested in this field, you will get a lot of information from this video. Don't forget to press the like and subscribe button. Let's begin the video without any delay, welcome back to All Technical This is Selene. Disclaimer This video is just for education purposes. At first, we will be talking about this tweet which is tweeted by at Pethuraj. This is a packet analysis of the output of the Wireshark file, that PCAP file if you want to organize the file, then this is a nice handy tool. Let me show you how that tool is. Here is the different kind of files. Let me open the file and show you. All files are maxed up so it is hard to find the correct file. This tool keeps all the files in an organized way open ports, pictures, HTTP, SMB, servers, documents files, FTP, etc. This is a wonderful tool for the Wireshark. Tweet no 2 colon the shot an alternative we got a tweet tweeted from today's cyber news, it is a search engine just like Shodan if I will you this is a natless search engine in this if you search anything just like you search in Shodan then you will get the details. It is important in this video because if you search for anything in Shodan if you don't get proper information about it then you can search in another search engine. As every search engine have their backlinks or you are searching the alternatives to the Shodan then you can give this a try. All links will be in the description once go and check it out. Tweet No 3 This tweet is done by Ron Massas. He showed us how Google Chrome saved passwords get easily extracted by any malicious app on MASH also showed us the demo in this video. So should not do this. He also gave the GitHub repository. Let's see the video. He showed how in the clear text he has extracted credentials from GitHub. That also in clean text, article. No one colon how I was able to find multiple vulnerabilities of a Symfony web framework web application. At first, this article is written by Abid Ahmad. Big thanks for giving us this meaningful full information first he showed us they were using Symfony web framework then form ff he has done directly brute forcing then. He has seen appdev.php. After going to that link he found a profile token and view php info. After getting more knowledge about this thing he tried to access the site. He got all database host, database port, database name, user, password, and all things. From this, we can learn how to form simple things, also we can exploit big sensibilities. Article no 2 colon the best free, open source supply chain security tool. The lock file written by Isaac Evans on Jan 20, 2022. When you do directly brute forcing and when you find some files then you will get manifest, lock file, and many more that is just version, not the vulnerability. You can stop the video and read it. Article no 3 colon this article is about how this person was able to hack the Apple webcam. Read this article, it will help you to understand the advanced bug bouncing process Even he earned $100,500 as a bounty thanks for being till the end thanks see you in the next tech news.